Uh, some of you are concerned about uh, what's going on in Nairobi, uh, what's going on in Kisumu. Let me promise you that um, we are going to take care of that situation. Kenya is a country of the rule of law, all right? And as responsible citizens and as president, I will ensure that everybody's property, it is my duty, everybody's property, everybody's business, everybody's hustle is protected and the lives of the people of Kenya are protected. It is, it is the duty of the police. My administration will make the resources necessary, the policy decisions necessary for the police to execute their mandate in accordance with the law and the constitution. And when I took office, I undertook that we are going to make the um, criminal justice system work for all Kenyans. And I did the deliberate thing to delineate the police from the office of the president. The constitution says the police will have not just operational independence, it must also have financial independence. For a very long time, the financial independence of the police was undermined because it was under the office of the president. I did sign the executive order that transferred the financial um, resources from the office of the president to that of the Inspector General of Police. Today, the Inspector General of Police is solely responsible for both the operations and the financial requirements of the police force, and they can make independent decisions on what they want to do to secure the country. I will continue to ensure that that is the case. And that is why um, the police in Kenya have a responsibility. And speaking from Berlin, the Inspector General of Police and all the police, uh, the entire police force in Kenya have a responsibility to ensure that the property of every Kenyan, the business of every Kenyan, the life of every Kenyan is secure, protect the right of every Kenyan, the civil rights of every Kenyan, and ensure that nobody tramples on the rights of others as they uh, exercise or enjoy their own rights. We have uh, the right to protect everybody, and the police should be able to do that. I want to give you my assurance that impunity will, not, will never be and will nev not continue to be part of our political discourse. None of us is above the law. All of us must submit to the rule of law. It's the only thing that makes us equal. There are no, there are no tall or short or fat or thin people when it comes to the rule of law. We are all equal and we are all one size. The diaspora is going to be part and parcel of the business that I have in governing Kenya. And uh, that they will have a very special place because the diaspora for a very long time uh, did not get the kind of fair treatment that a government is supposed to give to all its citizens. I am aware that uh, uh, in many of the engagements that I had with members of uh, our community, our Kenyan community across the globe, that they wanted government to do more and government to be more responsive and government to offer better service. And that is the reason that informed my um, establishing the State Department for Diaspora Affairs so that there is a dedicated permanent secretary to respond, to deal, to work with the diaspora, and so that we can leverage the huge potential that exists in our diaspora in not just growing our economy, but also profiling our country positively. I want to commend all of you Kenyans in the diaspora, for being the true ambassadors of our country. You have, as was ably said by Tom uh, Omolo, 
you have truly been the ambassadors of Kenya. And Kenya is known for what it is, uh, a country rich in culture, but also very warm people. Um, I am very proud to be a Kenyan because I listened to many people, including yesterday. I was in a meeting where Germans were speaking very well about Kenyans and Kenyans in Germany. Their hard work, their creativity, innovation is just outstanding. And I want to encourage each and every one of us to fly our flag high, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, whatever job you're doing, just know that the rest of us in Kenya are behind you and we all share in one country and we must look after it and do the best for it. We would want to review, as the PS has said, the diaspora policy and we are expecting you guys in the diaspora to uh, help us with ideas to contribute your thoughts on how best you think as a country we can take advantage of the opportunities that exist in Kenya and also take advantage of the opportunities that are available globally. We must act local but think global. I think there is uh, opportunities out there that we must not miss out. Let me tell you one thing that I am very sure about, that we have the best human capital anywhere in the world. That, that I am very sure about. Kenyans can work anywhere. They, 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 they can do anything. And, and they are simply the best. So, uh, and, and we must, that's in fact, that's in fact the biggest asset that we have, the Kenyan people. We may not have gold, we may not have silver and oil, but we have the Kenyan human capital. It is better than gold, believe you me from where I stand. And therefore, we must leverage, and it is my intention, that we will leverage on our human capital to do, to serve ourselves, to serve the world, and to make sure that Kenya shines.